students welcome to vidya minad this video is made for class 10 on chapter number 5 arithmetic progressions and we will continue today exercise 5.3 from question number 6 we have already done question number 1 to 5 in the previous video now we are going to start with question number 6 and we will finish the exercise by the end question number 6 The first and the last term of the AP are seventeen and three fifty. So A is given to you seventeen. Last term that is L or A N that is given to you as three fifty respectively. The common difference is also given to you as nine. How many terms are there and what is their sum? So for finding how many terms, we need to know what is N. And for N, we can apply the formula of A N is equal to A plus N minus one D. So for A N, I have written L also as both means the same thing. So A N is 350 is equal to a is given to you 17 d is also given to you 9 so you can find out n that is number of terms are 38 they are also telling us to find their sum so we will apply the sum formula s38 so that will be equal to n upon 2 into a plus a n that is we are given the first term we are given the last term we have found out n so by putting that in the formula we can get the required result that comes out to be 6973 Question number seven. Find the sum of first twenty-two terms of an AP in which D is seven and twenty-second term is one forty-nine. So we are given D as seven. We are given also the twenty-second term that is one forty-nine. That means we we are told A twenty-two. So A twenty-two is equal to A plus twenty-one D. So A twenty-two is given to us as one forty-nine. We don't know A. We will find A. So twenty one into D that is seven. So you will get your A as two, which will become your first term. Now you have the first term. You have the D with you. You can very easily form the series with that. And we will now find out the sum of twenty two terms. So S twenty two we need to know that is n upon two into A plus A n. Now A n is given to us as one forty nine. So we will consider as the last term. N we have just find out twenty two. So twenty two upon two into two plus one forty nine. So your sum of twenty two terms comes out to be one six six one. Question number eight. Find the sum of first fifty one terms of an AP whose second and third terms are fourteen and eighteen respectively. Now we don't know the first term, so A I have put a question mark. Second term we know A two that is fourteen, and third term also we know that is eighteen. So if we want to know the difference between them, so that is second term we know, third term we know, we can easily find out the difference that comes out to be four. So what is A two basically? A two is equal to A plus D that is my formula or A plus N minus one. D. So what is n over here? Two. So two minus one is one. I can directly write a two is equal to a plus d. A two is given to me. D is we have found. So we can find out a. A comes out to be ten. We need to find out the sum of fifty one terms. So that is s fifty one. We have to find out n. We know fifty one. A we know. D we know. Just put all these values into the formula of s fifty one. That is n upon two into two a plus n minus one. D. So we will do fifty one upon two into two plus two into ten plus fifty one minus one into four. On solving this, we get the answer as five six one zero. Question number nine. If the sum of first seven terms of an AP is forty nine and that of seventeen terms is two eighty nine, find the sum of first n terms. Now S seven is given to us as forty nine and S seventeen is given to us as two hundred and eighty nine. So what is seven terms? S seven is equal to n upon two into two a plus n minus one d. Now we don't know a, we don't know d. So when you put it into the formula, S seven is forty nine given to you, n is seven. We know that. So that is. Uh, uh, 2a plus 7 minus 1d that is 2a plus 6d. On solving this, we get equation number one as a plus 3d equal to 7. Same way we are going to do for s17. 
सो एस सेवनटीन वी नो वैल्यू इज गिवन टू एस टू एटी नाइन एन इज सेवनटीन ऑन पुटिंग दिस वी गेट ए प्लस एट डी इज इक्वल टू सेवनटीन विच इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू सो वी हैव इक्वेशन वन वी हैव इक्वेशन टू वी कैन यूज एलिमिनेशन मैथड ऑन चेंजिंग दिस साइन ऑन सब्ट्रैक्टिंग इट विल बिकम ए माइनस ए इट विल गेट कैंसल एंड थ्री ए माइनस ए डी विल बिकम माइनस फाइव डी इज इक्वल टू सेवन माइनस सेवनटीन विच इज माइनस टेन सो डी कम्स आउट टू बी टू Now to find out a, we can put this value of d in equation one, which was a plus three d is equal to seven. So when we put this, we get a is equal to one. Now they want to find out what is the value for s n, sum of n terms. We don't know n over here, but we will put the values of a and d in this, and we will find out the value of s n. So n upon two, n will remain as n. A we know one and D we know two. So on putting this on solving, you get your final answer as n square. Next, show that a one, a two, and so on till a n form an A B where a n is defined as below. Now you are given a n is equal to three plus four n. Now what we are going to do is we will assume the value of n as one two three four like this and see whether the difference is coming same or not. Now a n is equal to three plus four n. So a one what is a one? A one will become three plus four into one, which comes out to be seven. A two is three plus four into two, which comes eleven. A three is fifteen and a four is nineteen. Let us find out the difference between them. Is it same? Yes. In this series. The difference is same. That means we this is forming an AP series. Now the question they are saying is find the sum of first fifteen terms in each case. So we have to find out S fifteen. We know A, we know D. So we can find out S fifteen as n upon two into two a plus n minus one d. N is fifteen, which we know. A is seven and D is four. On putting these values, we get is equal to five hundred and twenty-five. Next, a n is equal to nine minus five n. So again, we will assume one, two, three, four. We get the series as four minus one minus six minus eleven. Let us see whether the difference is same or not. Yes, the difference is coming same every time. It is minus five. So we know a, we know. D. We can find out S15 in this case by putting the values in the formula. S15 is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. So n is 15. Your a is 4. Your d is minus 5. You get your answer as minus 465. Next, if the sum of first n terms of an AP is 4n minus n square. What is the first term? That is S one. What is the sum of first two terms? What is the second term? Similarly, find the third, the tenth, and the nth terms. Now we are given that S n is equal to four n minus n square. So let us assume the first term A is they are saying as S one. So when your n is one, we will put one in the four n minus n square. We get answer as three. So then we need to find out sum of the first two terms. So S two that is S two will be equal to we will put two in four n minus n square we get four. So what is my second term? Second term will be A two A two that we can do second second minus first that is four minus three that becomes one. So now we have A as three we have A two as one we can find out the difference. Between them, one minus three that comes out to be minus two. So do it very carefully. So it is step by step you have to solve it. Now we have to find out the nth term. So a n is equal to a plus n minus one d. We know a, we know d. We can find out now five minus two n. It comes out to be the final thing. So they are telling us to find out a three. We are telling us to find out a ten. So the required a n comes out to be five minus two n. In this we will put n as three. So five minus two into three that comes out to be minus one. We need to find out a ten. So a ten where we have to put? We will put in five minus two n because n is ten. That comes out to be minus fifteen. So hence we have found out all the terms which are asked for. 
find the sum of first po forty positive integers which is divisible by six. So first forty, we have to find out the sum that is s forty. We have to find out. So what is divisible by six? So we will write down six tables: six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, and so on. So we come to know a is six and d is six. We can easily find out s forty by putting it into the formula of n upon two into two a plus n minus one d. We know n over here that is forty because we have to find out for the forty integers. So we know a over here that is six. We know d over here that is also six. By solving this, we get s forty sum of first for forty positive integers comes out to be four nine two zero. Find the sum of first fifteen multiples of eight. Same way we will write down eight table eight sixteen twenty four thirty two. We have a as eight, d is also eight. So s fifteen we have to find out. Put it into the formula of n upon two into two a plus n minus one d. N is fifteen. We have to find out for fifteen multiples. We know a that is eight. We know d that is also eight. So on solving this, we can find out s fifteen. That comes out to be nine hundred and sixty. So sum of fifteen integers of multiples of eight comes out to be nine hundred and sixty. Find the sum of the odd numbers between zero and fifty. So here we can know what are the starting and we know what is the ending. That is, we can start with one three five seven. And we know fifty is an even number. Before that, the last number is forty nine. So we know a, we know d, we know the last term. So we can use the formula of a n because we have to find out the sum. We should know what is n. So for finding out n, we will use the formula of a n or l is equal to a plus n minus one d. We know a n forty nine. We know a one. We know d s two. On solving this, we get n is equal to twenty five. Now we can find out the sum of these numbers. So what we have to find s twenty five value we have to find. We know the last term, so we can put a short formula over here. n upon two into a plus a n or l. So n is twenty five. Twenty five upon two a is one. A n is forty nine. On solving this, sum comes out to be six hundred and twenty five. Next, a contract on construction job specifies a penalty for delay of completion beyond a certain day as follows: rupees two hundred for the first day, rupees two fifty for the second day, rupees three hundred for the third day. The penalty for each succeeding day being rupees fifty more than for the preceding day. So that means we are adding fifty in the Number previous number, so that means our series is two hundred, two fifty, three hundred, three fifty like that. That means we know A is two hundred and D becomes fifty as the difference is same in all. How much money the contractor has to pay as penalty if he has delayed the work by thirty days? So that means we need to find out find out the sum for thirty. S thirty we have to find out. And the formula is n upon two into two a plus n minus one d. What is n? Thirty we know. A we know two hundred. D we know fifty. So solve these calculations. You get twenty seven thousand seven hundred and fifty rupees as a penalty which the contractor has to pay. Next, a sum of rupees seven hundred is to be used to give. Give seven cash prizes to the students of a school for their overall academic performance. If each prize is rupees twenty less than its preceding prize, find the value of each prize. Now we don't know the prize, so what is there? They are just telling it is twenty less than the preceding. So let the cost of first prize be p. So the cost for second prize will be p minus twenty. Third prize will be p minus forty because the difference is always twenty. So what is this? So we will assume first term a as p, and your difference is twenty always. That becomes minus twenty because it is preceding less than preceding the previous case. And we need to find out the values for all seven. There are seven cash prizes, so we want s seven, which is seven hundred. So s seven is equal to n upon two into two a plus n minus one d. S seven is given to you as seven hundred. 
you uh, 7 upon 2 uh, your uh, n is 7 a we don't know we have to find out a so 6 into minus 20 that is d a comes out to be 160 so your first value of each prices will be 160 the second will be less than 20 so 160 minus 20 i will do 140 140 minus 20 i will do 120 and like this i will go on In a school, students thought of planting trees in and around the school to reduce air pollution. It was decided that the number of trees that each section of each class will plant will be the same as the class in which they are studying. For example, a section of class 1 will plant 1 tree, a section of class 2 will plant 2 trees till class 12. So what is it? So in your first term A becomes 1 and your common difference D is also 1 and we know the last term also that is 12. There are three sections of each class. How many trees will be planted by the students? So we need to find out sum of 12 because there are 12 classes. So that is n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 d. n is given to us as 12. a we have found out 1. d we have found out 1. So s12 is 78. That is only for one section. And they are saying that there are three sections. So, 3 multiplied by 78, that comes out to be 234. So, that, are, that number of trees will be planted by the students. Question number 18. A spiral is made up of successive semicircles with centers alternatively at A and B, starting with center at A of radii 0 0.51, 1.52, as shown in the figure figure is I have not shown the figure you can see it from the book what is the total length of each such a spiral made up of 13 consecutive semicircle so take pi as 22 by 7 so what is perimeter of a circle we they are making a spiral boundary we want boundary is perimeter and perimeter of semicircle is pi r so therefore when we when it is perimeter 1 first circle second and third we will put the value of radius is given to us as 0 0.51, 1.5 and so on. It comes out to be pi by 2 pi, 3 pi upon 2. That becomes your series. Now let us find out the difference between them. Your first term will become P1 that is your pi upon 2 and your P2 is pi. So we will find out the difference pi minus pi upon 2 which will come as pi upon 2. Now first term we know that is pi upon 2 we will find out now sum of n terms that is 13 terms we have to find out which means n is 13 we have the value of a with us we have the value of d with us we will just put these values at the end and we will put the value of pi also at the end we will get answer as 143 centimeters next 200 logs are stacked in the following manner, 20 logs in the bottom row, 19 in the next, 18 in the row next to it and so on. In how many rows are the 200 logs placed and how many logs are in the top row? Now number of logs which they are telling it is in a form of 20, 19, 18, 17. It's like that. And sum of the uh, logs they are already told us that is 200. So, we know A is 20, we know D is minus 1 because it is 19 minus 20 and SN also we know that is 200. We will put the nth formula that is SN is equal to N upon 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 D. So, SN is 200 and we have to find out how many rows are there. So, 2 into 20 plus N minus 1 into minus 1. We can find out n by here. It will form a quadratic equation that is n square minus 41 n plus 400. Now, this is a quadratic equation. We can use middle term splitting method to find out their factors. We got the factors as n minus 16, n minus 24 which is equal to 0. That means n is either 16 or n is either 25. So, let us find out by putting this 16. So, if a is 16, then what is the formula nth formula a plus n minus 1 d that is a is 20 so 20 plus 16 minus 1 d is minus 1 so a 16 comes out to be 5 and same way we will find out for the 25th term that comes out to be minus 4 
so we can see that number of logs in the 16th row is 5 as the numbers cannot be negative we will not use a25 because it is going to minus 4 it cannot be negative so we can say that 200 logs can be placed in 16 rows and number of logs in the 16th row is 5 next in a potato race a bucket is placed at the starting point which is 5 meters from the first potato and other potatoes are placed 3 meters apart in a straight line there are 10 potatoes in the line so the diagram you can see from here so it is 5 3 3 a competitor starts uh, from the bucket picks up the nearest potato runs back with it drops it in the bucket runs back to pick up the next potato runs to the bucket to drop it in and she continues in the same way until all the potatoes are in the bucket what is the total distance of the competitor that has to run now hint is provided over here to pick up the first potato and the second potato the distance will be run by 2 into 5 plus 2 into 5 plus 3 because it is 5 plus 3 5 was initial and then 3 is added to it and it becomes 2 times so using that we will form the series so distance of the potatoes is 5 8 11 14 which is forming an 80 series so 2 times of the distance could be written because he is going and he is coming back so it becomes 2 times so 5 8 11 14 we have so just double it it becomes 10 16 22 28 and so on which is our new ap so your a is 10 and your d becomes your 6 we have to find out sum of 10 so s 10 we have to find out we know the formula n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d so s 10 is equal to 10 upon 2 into 2 into 10 which a is 10 and we know d 6 so we can find out that comes out to be 370 which is the total distance which the competitor has to run that's all for this exercise children it was divided into two parts we have covered five questions in the earlier video from here in this video we have just started with question number six we you just need to know some formulas just write it down and do lots of practice what is given to you write down and see whether you are getting the answer for using that formula or not so just two three formulas are there which you need to know you need to know the first term you need you need to know the uh, difference between the terms if last term is given to you you can there are easy formula or short formula which can be applied to find out the sum thank you so much children for watching the video till the end very soon i am going to come with the next video till then see you children goodbye take care